Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm going to show you how we can take a table like this from a company's um, press release announcing its earnings and putting it into an Excel format where it, it's easy to read and, you know, do your own calculations on it. And so as easy as it sounds, you can really just copy and paste this right from here. So just drag this, make sure you've got the header selected all the way down to the net income or loss line or however you want to copy. And now if I go into my Excel spreadsheet, now if I just do control V, I'm not crazy about this format because this might, might, might take a bit more uh, time to clean up. Instead, what I'm going to do is going to right click and so the default option is to keep the source formatting. So keep the formatting from where you're copying it from, but that's not what I want. I want to match the destination formatting, so where I'm pasting it to. So I want to watch the, match the formatting that's in my spreadsheet. And as you can see, this, this already starts to look a whole lot better. So what I'm going to do is expand out this first column just so I get these descriptions in here. And the next thing I'm going to do is get rid of columns that I don't need. But before I delete any, the one thing I'm gonna do is adjust these headers. Cause right now, this one says three months ending January 31, year ending January 31. You know, it's uh, in a column that I, I probably don't need. So what I'm gonna do is I can move these uh, move these headers over. And rather than doing it manually, I could, could just drag it across. Um, because there's both of them, what I can do is just, uh, both headers I need to move. I can just start at the first one and say, right click, insert, and then shift cells right. So it'll shift this header as well as that one, right? And so now everything is nice and clean. We've got the header followed by the data all in the same column. So now I can go around and deleting these extra columns. You know, these leading columns have a dollar sign. Um, these trailing columns have a, cl a closing closing parenthesis. And so I, I, I don't really need that. It's just cluttering up my, my spreadsheet. So Again, you could do this manually, delete them, but you could also just select one row here and go, select F5, special, and select all the blank values. Hit OK, and now you can see it's selected the cells that don't have any values. If I right click on any one of these, I can select delete and delete the entire column. Hit OK, and now it starts to look a whole lot better. Now the one problem is I still have got these these, these negative values that have an opening parenthesis, but they don't have a closing one, just because again, it drifted off into those extra columns. So I need to adjust for that. Now, the good thing is there's an easy way to do that, and that's using find and replace. So I'm gonna select my data, hit Control H, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace that opening parenthesis and replace it with a dash. That way, Excel will convert into a negative value. So I'm gonna replace all, and now you'll see, now I've got a much cleaner data set. These ones are showing up as negative. The only one that it didn't capture was, was this item, which was looks like a, a few dashes in here. If I had more of these, I might do a final replace on this as well, but it's just the only one in here. So I'll just change this to a zero. And now if I wanted to, I could adjust the, the formatting here to use currency. And now we've got, got our data. Uh, neatly organized. So the only other thing I might want to do is maybe group these. Um, so if I've got uh, any subtotals here, got total operating expenses, you know, separate that out, separate the headers so it's a bit cleaner um, and easier to look at. So we've got, uh, you know, net loss, that's a key one as well. Uh, and so we've got, got an easy way to, to break all this stuff out. So as you can see, once you've done the copy and pasting and you formatted it in in the way that you want it to look, it's a lot easier now to do any changes or any calculations. So for instance, if you want to calculate the year over year growth rate, right? If you wanted to calculate any sort of differences, it'd be really easy to do that in this format just because you've got you've got all the data in there. And so by putting your information putting the, the earnings report into, into Excel. It's a lot easier to manipulate, create reports, and do whatever you, you want to do with the data as opposed to you know, just using um, that, uh, the, the data on the press release. So that's how you can convert that into Excel fairly easy. The main thing to remember, again, when you're pasting, make sure you select the option 
to match the destination for me. Don't just do the, uh, the control V by default. And then, you know, if you've got any, any negative numbers in parentheses or brackets that aren't reading properly, you know, use the find and replace to flip them into a, into a negative. And then that should make your data um, calculate properly and for Excel to correctly read these values as, as numbers to ensure that you're not getting any errors when you're doing calculations. So that wraps up this video. Hope you found it useful and thank you for watching.